Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your boy DJ Fanatic at SoundsForProducers.com. Yo, this video is about, you know, you saw the title. Anyway, should I quit my job to produce music full time, to make music full time? That is a question among millions. Check it out. All right, so I'm gonna speak off the top of my head and give you the best advice that I can as a father, a new father. Thank you to those that, um, you know, sent congratulations, really appreciate y'all. Um, but also as a business owner, as a producer, and also as a person that is working a nine to five as well. So I, I'm juggling a lot. And um, before I get into it, make sure you uh, click the sub button um, just in case, you know, you might want to check something out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but uh, definitely uh, for your support, greatly appreciate you if you hit the sub button. Click the bell as well. So that way I said click the sub. <laughs> you can tell I worked all day. Anyway, hit the sub button. Click the bell as well. See so alerted to new videos and give it a thumbs up if I say anything in here that helps you. So should you quit your job to produce music full-time i want to do that right now right now but um the choice is always yours you can you can definitely make that choice right now give them your two weeks notice i know some people just want to walk out and say f this job i'm out of here and i'll figure it out later um or give them your two weeks and just want to leave and do music you know what i'm saying everybody wants to just do what they love. I know you love creating music because that's why you're here. Um, and that's also why I make so much sounds and, and products for producers because I know how it is, you know. And it's really good for those that work um, loops and kits and stuff, uh, construction kits, all that is good for like people that have limited time. You know what I'm saying? You need instant inspiration. And sometimes you get off of work. You're not inspired. You know, you don't want to do anything. You don't want to work out. You don't want to cook. All you do is sit in front of the TV or play video games or whatever your vice is um, until you do it again the next day. It's it's an endless cycle. And the advice that I can give, you know, for producers that want to quit their job is think about where are you going to get your income? Because unfortunately, you know, it's a capitalist society. We need money to survive. We need money to buy groceries. We need money to um, put gas in the car. Um, we need money to do a lot of things. You know, we need money to survive. And you quit your job and that's your main source of income. What are you going to do? Like, you don't have a backup plan. You don't have any money saved up. You know what advice I would do, um, give you is like set up at least six months, six months of your necessities, basically what you need to survive. Six months worth of money, your rent, mortgage if you own a house, um, you know, average of what you use for drive around in your car or whatever, or travel expenses. Uh, eliminate all the BS um things like the money you waste uh, the stuff you waste money on going out to eat entertainment stuff buying unnecessary plugins you don't use <laughs> i mean you know all kinds of stuff like that and um save up at least six months of revenue or you can do a year i know some people can do that and this way you have a cushion revenue wise and you want to leave your job you'll be like okay now I got a whole year worth of, of uh, living, um, living, what do you call it? It's, it's a cushion, basically a revenue cushion where you know that I can survive off of this for the whole year. So this way you're prepared for the transition to do music full time. I think that's a really smart move uh, to make instead of just quitting without any money. I know some people that done it before. I got producers that hit me up all the time that I lost my job, man, and I need to sell some beats. You know what I'm saying? I'm not <laughs> I'm not a, a guru of selling beats, but I know a lot and I can share what I know. But um, you 
And it also another factor when you're quitting your, your job or you're deciding to quit or you want to make that transition to uh, producing music full time and being a music maker. Um, you want to also consider um, age and the things that your your responsibilities, you know, like I mentioned earlier, you know, I'm a father. I know a lot of producers that aren't fathers yet or mothers and they don't have people relying on them you know what i'm saying so and some you know may have live with their family you know a relative uh whether it's mom or dad or aunt or grandparents or whatever and you don't have to pay rent i remember those days like i really miss those days but you know i got a mortgage you see i have a responsibility to pay a mortgage every month or my house is gone i got you know um daycare I pay for which is insane um, I got you know all types of living expenses and also business expenses so you want to definitely depending on your age you tend not to have that many responsibilities like you're 17 18 20 even you know man I know some people that live with their parents up to 35 and they still there so actually and probably even older so if you don't have those type of res responsibilities you definitely can uh, have more risk and so and that's kind of what I'm getting at you can take more risk when you have more um, what you can take a higher risk option like quitting your job right now right after this video if you don't have many responsibilities like you don't even have to pay for food because your your mom buys groceries and cooks you dinner every other night stuff like that uh you don't even have to drive anywhere because you don't have a license and you take lift everywhere or or use public transportation see you kind of have to look at those thing your responsibilities as well as you know um the risk factor so um for those that have more responsibilities and you want to transition into doing music full-time you definitely like for me you want to at least match what you're making at your job with music and some people may not even think that's possible but it is possible I know people that will exceed that and it is doable if you believe it um, and for those that man say oh you can't you can do that so anyway um, for those that don't have responsibilities or as many responsibilities you can, you can put in a two weeks notice and, and set a date be like look I'm gonna give this six months if I don't start making money making music you know maybe I'll get another job and just keep on making music so you gotta have to kind of look at these type of things to help you understand whether you're gonna transition from uh, working your day job or to a producer so um and there's something else I wanted to speak on, you know, don't knock working at a day job. Like I know we, most of us creatives, we don't want to be there. You know, it, it may be like even depressing to be somewhere where you don't want to be. Trust me, I know. And for years, I just put in so much effort like working for someone else and sometimes it's not appreciated i totally understand um but when you're there at your day job right you gotta kind of respect it and appreciate it you know definitely appreciate it because what it's doing it's allowing you it's a step to where you're gonna go it's a step to your next position like basically you know it's an experience that you're ha that's happening right now for a reason because you haven't outgrown it yet you're not ready yet to do music full-time you see what I'm saying and you got to respect it as like okay like you're walking upstairs this is the step that you're on learn all you can because there's a lot you can learn where you are right now we tend to take that for granted and like you, you will see it as a bad thing like yeah Man, I, all I do is this. But there's something there that you're missing, usually. Uh, whether it's a big company, there's a type of system you can learn. 
um, whether it's like financial stuff you can learn stuff about financial because you're a producer and you got to look at things as a business not just making music all day um uh, what else um also you can learn pri prioritization like learn like at your day job you might get thrown a bunch of things and you don't know how to prioritize your work you can learn that for your own business that that you know muscle uh memory ends up becoming more natural and you can apply that to your business um so don't feel bad about where you are and and if you're working a nine to five long as you're making effort outside of that like for instance i'll be real with you with this video i'm doing this outside of my day job after being up for 12 plus hours doing all this work you know i work out you know i watch my daughter you know and have private time with my lady and then you know i'm on a video see i am prioritizing i am multitasking and doing stuff and i got my you know my dj fanatic beat stuff so i am a producer as well as a business owner it sounds for producers so you kind of have to respect your day job because it helps teach you teach you these things and i know <laughs> trust me i know it's like oh i hate this place i shouldn't be here I'm, i just want to make music and then let's say you know you get fired or whatever or you just leave and you don't have these skills to proceed with making music you don't have discipline you don't have consistency you don't have you don't even have, know how to add up your taxes or stuff like that you see what i'm saying so you're not prepared to be a business owner or a successful uh, producer because you rushed it you moved away from something that could have taught you something so hopefully i'm giving you something in this video you know i definitely you know am for following your dreams and doing what you love and these are type of things that i want you to think about before leaving your day job or even considering it you know like i said before if you don't have much risk and you're in high school or you're just getting out of college or you're in college you're in that transition period like yo man should i get a job or should i make beats you see what i'm saying and you have some cushion where you can just stay with your parents for a year man i wish i had that because i would just make music and actually i did have that at one point because i was going to college but i wasn't that serious with making music i would make it here and there but i wasn't really online i wasn't doing stuff um that consistently as i am now and i wish i did that back then when i didn't have as many responsibilities so i don't regret it uh because i had a i had a really good young childhood but i worked harder than anybody ever knew at the same time so and i still do but um what was i getting at but as i start to get more responsibilities your time is is divided you know so i'm not saying it's a bad thing you just gotta learn differently and and prioritize better and also focus on things that can progress you and your business more uh quickly and more efficiently that's the word i'm looking for so yeah and you know being where you are right now it, you're here for a reason you're watching this video for a reason you know maybe these words you needed to hear because i was close to depression at my day job and some days are harder than others but i'm starting to really learn that yo i have this lifestyle because of this job i can't knock it man i can't knock it i'm able to travel the country travel the world because of my income from my day job i'm able to buy this software like this microphone this these videos this laptop i'm able to do this get the software do all kinds of stuff because of that revenue of course i get revenue it sounds for producers and also djfanaticbeats.com and stuff like that but my day job helps progress my dream my my businesses and it helps progress me to be able to give you these type of messages so yeah i'm gonna close on that you know definitely definitely don't feel bad about where you are um appreciate it you know it starts right there because if you don't appreciate something it's taken from you and then you know <laughs> when things are taken from you 
you'll miss it and the things that you can gain from it you'll miss as well um and and like you know man i won't get too deep in the video so hopefully you enjoy the um this quick little video i did and also um of course there's a bunch of links in the description for uh loot packs drum kits there's a free loot pack in the description get that and also shout out to the homies at beat stars man uh you get a free month off of beat stars the links in the description as well uh so enjoy that um all you do is click on a link and you'll see it and you put in your info and you actually get the first month off free and it's actually a pro account too so the high grade one so enjoy that um, also I started a new Facebook page a private group for producers uh, I would love to see y'all there we're gonna be playing some beats kicking it on camera and uh, I try to I might just do it weekly or bi-weekly I'll figure out how many um, producers are on there and also how much how many links we get on there as far as what beats we're gonna listen to and stuff like that and you know pretty much anything community wise we're definitely gonna be talking about you know it, it's cool that you know we're all making music and we're all doing what we love but it's also cool to talk to your peers and kind of figure out what's what's happening you know what i'm saying and speaking of what's happening man i forgot her name she just passed away so rest in peace so anyway it's your boy dj fanatic it sounds for producers.com click the sub button man if you didn't by now you just watching videos and then you keep going another video another video another video watch all my videos and then you don't sub you don't support the community you don't support people that give you value for free <laughs> man i tell you for those that are subbing after this video i appreciate you and give it a thumbs up click the bell so you alert to more new videos and i'll catch you in the next video Keep making dope music with your day job. Appreciate it, but also consider some of the things I said if you're thinking about leaving. Peace and love.